Hey there, I'm Jason Vandenberg, and I'm the creative director on Red Steel 2. We're back with a uh, new gameplay video. We're going to show you a new location, some uh, new gameplay that we've been putting in with combos, and, um, and a ninja. This is a mid-game cinematic. Uh, we're going to show you the first half of this, but uh, we're going to leave the rest to your imagination. Our hero has been uh, chasing the villain across the desert, and his life is about to get a lot more interesting. But it's not actually where the cinematic ends. Uh, it does actually continue into the rest of the scene, but uh, you'll have to check it out in the game if you want to see the rest of that. So we're, gonna, we're about halfway through the, through the level here. Um, this location is a canyon, a series of canyons, um, and a Pueblo town and mining town set high in the wall. Uh, high in the walls there, sort of dug into the side. And so uh, the hero is making his way to this mine. That's a mine on the far side of the bridge there. But the bridge is uh, open, and so he has to find a way to uh, extend it. Here's the shotgun. As you can see, it's pretty effective. Our guy uses a uses his shotgun with one hand, of course. It's a nice sawed-off double barrel, so that's a lot of fun. So um, you'll see in our, our combat here, our new layer of uh, combo uh, inputs that we're showing you today. Uh, combos in Red Steel 2 are executed by two inputs, generally. For example, you'll tap A twice to do a jump attack, uh, or you can uh, dash to the side and slash. Uh, to do a finish move, or you can tap Z and slash to do a 360 spin, etc. The icons over the head of their enemy of our enemies uh, indicate uh, when they're open for a finish move, uh, and then we have a variety of finish moves in the game, as you can see, uh, that offer you a series of ways to take your opponents out. Your opponents, your reward, of course, at the end of the combat will be higher if you can do it in a stylish way. It's our new character, uh, the ninja. Every game's better with ninjas in it. This guy's a lot faster, better trained, knows how to use a sword. He can block all your blows, he can come at you from the air. He's very dangerous. Um, he can disappear, he can attack you from the side, uh, and you're gonna have to uh, demonstrate a lot more skill and uh, expertise if you're gonna take him out. Here comes a second type. This guy is uh, our, uh, our support version. Ninja with an automatic pistol. He also got a claw on his hand, so he, uh, he's quite effective at short range there. So we have uh, short range and long range ninjas for you. We're also gonna show you our, our uh, new power. There are two types of uh, uh, special abilities that our player have. We showed you the combos in that fight, in the previous fight. Now we're gonna take a look at powers. You charge up your blade by holding the A and B button at the same time and that gives you access to powers like the Shockwave. These moves are all unlocked um, uh, by purchasing them through our uh, safe house system. You're gonna meet people who are helping you in your mission, uh, who have stores, shops, and they're gonna be able to train you in these various abilities. The shockwave is particularly effective against the ninjas. Um, it's a nice way to get him to stop moving around uh, long enough to lay a couple of blows on him. Our shockwave input is uh, very much like throwing a frisbee. It's an aimed attack uh, where the, the shockwave will go to the part of the screen that you end up flicking uh, at the end there. If you've ever thrown a frisbee, you know what I mean.
As you can see, we have been adding a new layer of complexity to the input and a new layer of complexity to our combat that we hope that uh, our gamer friends will enjoy. And that's our level. That's all we got time for. Um, we we're hoping that you enjoyed this uh, quick look at what's going on in uh, Red Steel 2.